Most invertebrates have a light detecting organ. One of the simplest is the ocelli of the planarians, also known as eye spots, which provides information about light intensity and direction but does not form images. Insects and crustaceans have compound eyes consist of several thousand light detectors called omatidia. Compound eyes are very effective at detecting movement. Single lens eyes are found in some jellies, spiders, and many mollusks. Vertebrates and human eyes are also single lens eyes. They work on a camera-like principle. The iris changes the diameter of the pupil to control how much light enters. The main parts of a human eye include a white outer layer called sclera, which forms the transparent cornea. Beneath the sclera is the pigmented layer called choroid, which forms the colored iris. The iris regulates the amount of light entering the pupil by changing size. The pupil is the hole in the center of the iris. The layer inside the choroid is the retina, which contains photoreceptors. The optic disc is a blind spot in the retina where the optic nerve attaches to the eye. The lens is a transparent disc of protein that focuses light on the retina. The eye is divided into two cavities separated by the lens and ciliary body. The anterior cavity is filled with watery aqueous humor, which is produced by the ciliary body, while the posterior cavity is filled with jelly-like vitreous humor. The human retina contains two types of photoreceptors. The rods are light-sensitive photoreceptors that are concentrated around the periphery of the retina, whereas the cones are photoreceptors that distinguish colors and are concentrated in the fovea, which is the center of the visual field. After the light reaches the photoreceptors, bipolar cell receives information from several rods or cones, and each ganglion cell gathers input from several bipolar cells and relay the information to the optic nerve fibers. The horizontal cell integrate information between the photoreceptors and the bipolar cells, whereas the amacrine cells integrate information between the bipolar cells and ganglion cells. Horizontal cells and amacrine cells play a huge role in lateral inhibition, which increases the contrast and sharpness in facial response. Each rod cell contains the pigment rhodopsin, which consists of a light-absorbing molecule called retinol bonded to a protein called opsin. When light strikes the rhodopsin, it converts cis retinol to trans retinol, which activates rhodopsin. Active rhodopsin in turn activates G protein called transducin. Transducin then activates the enzyme phosphodiesterase which detaches cyclic GMP from sodium channels in the plasma membrane by hydrolyzing cyclic GMP to GMP, leading to the closing of sodium channels and a decrease in the membrane's permeability to sodium ions. The rod cell hyperpolarizes. Notice that this is opposite of neurons, which depolarizes in response to action potential. In the dark, rhodopsin is inactive and sodium channels are open. The rods are depolarized which releases glutamate to the bipolar cell. The bipolar cell will either depolarize or hyperpolarize depending on the glutamate receptors. In the light, rhodopsin is active, which closes sodium channels, hyperpolarizing the rods, and as a result, no glutamate is released, while bipolar cells could be either hyperpolarized or depolarized. The cones contain three pigments called photopsins that detect light of different wavelengths, red, green, or blue. Essentially, all the colors we see are encoded by these three photopsins. The optic nerves transmit sensations from the eyes to the brain. The two optic nerves meet at the optic chiasm near the center of the base of the cerebral cortex. Our brains process visual information contralaterally, which means that sensations from the right visual field are transmitted to the left side of the brain, whereas sensations from the left visual field are transmitted to the right side of the brain. Note that each visual field, whether right or left, involves input from both eyes. So it's not like the right brain receives information from the left eye. It's from the left visual field of both eyes. Within the brain, most ganglion cell axons lead to the lateral geniculate nuclei, which relay sensations to the primary visual cortex, one of many brain centers that cooperate in constructing our visual perceptions. The human eye focuses light by changing the shape of the lens. To see near objects, the ciliary muscles contract, relaxing the suspensory ligaments, which makes the lens thicker and rounder. To focus on distant objects, the ciliary muscles relax, 
and the suspensory ligaments pull against lens, making it flatter. The term accommodation refers to the change of focus from distance to near objects.